Hey, beauts. I just wanted to come on here and chop it up with y'all before I went home. Uh, I told y'all I'd be using this in my hands before, before I went home, Lord. <laughs> before I go to bed. Um, oh, I wanted to tell y'all. I have never tried Wingstop. I've been trying a lot of restaurants that I haven't had before. Um, I'm going to make sure I keep y'all updated on that cute stuff, too. But this is my first time having Wingstop. And I've been wanting to try they... I ate some. <laughs> I'm going to try the Cajun corn, and it is so good. Like, this is the perfect little snack, especially when you don't like some diet type stuff. The spice to speed up your metabolism, and the corn is good for you. So, this Cajun corn is awesome. But <sighs> sometimes you just got to be thankful to be able. Like, I blew out one of my tires, and then I'm really trying to figure out how that happened. Like, I think it happened because I actually got stuck while I was out today. And one tire was just spinning, like rubbing against the ground, rubbing against the ground, rubbing against the ground. I spent like 15 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that, trying to get unstuck while the other tire was trying to like get over a hump <laughs> of ice and snow and sitting in this pool of ice and snow water. It was just a mess. But a couple days ago, you know, not even a couple days ago, yesterday, I didn't have no problems with this tire. So... I don't know how it blew out today and then i got a slow leak in my back tire that i was just being lazy about so i gotta get two of those i'm really trying to break that habit don't judge me i gotta get two new tires and i wish y'all could see my phone screen right now <laughs> like it was on the counter in the bathroom and the alarm was going off and i do a lot of my manifestations and prayings and stuff in the shower because i'm a water sign so I didn't want to get out like in the middle of my prayers and you know saying my affirmations and stuff like that so i was just like you know i'll get it you know when i get out the shower we're to turn off and all i heard was crack like it vibrated it little self off the counter and hit the flow so i'm like maybe it just fell you know hopefully it ain't do too much damage with y'all <laughs> i wish i could show y'all my screen right now it's just it's a hot ass mess but tomorrow i'm going to get two new tires and a phone screen and as irritated as i am about it i'm not really mad or i'm not going to let myself be mad sometimes you really just gotta thank god that you can handle the problems in your life like it's some people who ain't got no money for another tire we have to wait till their next payday ain't got no money to get a phone screen fixed we have to wait till their next payday some people ain't got a next payway payday to wait on <laughs> you know so sometimes even when the bad stuff happens you got to be thankful and find the silver lining in it. I'm thankful I got the money to get the shit taken care of. So, whatever. <laughs> That's just going to be a part of our journey tomorrow. And I got some cute little stuff from Myers. Like, okay, so Myers, Walmart. So, thou shalt not try me. Huh, not today. Not today, devil, not today. But I like getting, like, cute little t-shirts like these and, like, leggings and stuff to wear to work. Because, you know, they just, like, everyday little runaround clothes. And y'all... <laughs> do you see these are so fucking cute st patrick's day is march 17th don't know what i'm doing just yet but i ain't gotta work that day so you know, whatever the plans is i'm there but i won't be drinking no green beer i've never been a fan of green beer not even when i was at michigan state gold green i was not drinking green beer i'll take some green tea shots i'll make a hulk you know some hypnotic and some Hennessy. i think that's what it is <laughs> i'll do some of those but I'm not drinking no green beer, but this, too cute. Too cute. So, let me move my corn and my hand cream out the way. So, I got these, and I got two shirts because I couldn't figure out which one I wanted. Like, Walmart, yeah, that's right. Walmart stuff is so cheap and cute for everyday little stuff. So, I was either going to wear these together. I think that's a good combo. Like, this little black. But I'm worried about, like, the white is what's throwing me off when it's a black shirt. But, and on who lucky? I'm lucky, Okay. And that was on the shirt. Lucky Charms. I think this one might be the one. I don't know because this green is throwing me off because this green is so much darker. But it has white in here and it's white right there. I don't know, girl. I'll figure it out. And guys, you know, I want to just say girl. But I got those today. I picked up another cute little things. These I am obsessed. I'm not going to lie. Don't say nothing. I am obsessed. So... I just wanted to hop on here real quick, do a little venting, remind y'all, same thing I had to remind myself. Sometimes, no matter what's going on, you got to be thankful that you can handle it. Just thank God that you're able. I'll talk to y'all later.
Hey kids, I am getting ready for my hair appointment. Well, I'm always late for my hair appointments, but I am trying something new on my hair. Um, oops, I have me some aloe vera and I just wanted to run it through my hair and let it set a little bit before. Oh yeah, I like the way this feel. Before I, um, wash and condition it. I really just want to just real quick. Like I'm literally just taking it and hitting it with these and pressing it. So I'm getting the juice and the gel off of it. God made everything you needed right in this earth. You don't need a bunch of fancy ingredients and none of that. I'm squeezing it to get some more out of here. I got a bigger plant like in my kitchen. The much bigger pieces in my kitchen. So I'm gonna get the rest of it if I need it. But right now I'm just sliding this across my edges and my hair because I wanna basically just see what the treatment is all about. And if the view looks a little different it's because I'm in my son's bathroom. Son's like multiple sons. I like that bathroom done. I like mine. So that's what I'm doing right now. I might have to dig some of this aloe vera out. And then look at that. Yo, I didn't have a ponytail this time last year. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> but um <laughs> I know you're not supposed to be a what's it called? A kitchen What's it called? A kitchen something, whatever. But you're not supposed to like do your own stuff. Look at that, that's just beautiful. You see all that? Just sliding and gliding right on my hair. A kitchen chemist, that's, I think that's more for like skincare routines. I think you can pretty much get in the kitchen when it comes to your hair, but I'm loving the way this feels, not gonna lie. I might have to do this more often. I've been meaning to do it for a while. It's just, like I said, I'm always late for my hair appointments. So, I have to, um, like, just hurry up and wash and condition. Like, I use this, and I use um, the Miracle Conditioner. I think y'all probably already know what I'm talking about, but I'm sure it's you guys anyway. The Miracle Oil Conditioner, I really like this one. I really like the way this feels on my hair. You're supposed to let it sit for an hour, but again, <laughs> I'm running late. So I just got to make it do with what I got. I'm going to get in the shower. I'm going to let this marinate in my hair and I'm going to wash it out. It says with a mild shampoo. Hopefully that one isn't too harsh. It's not really harsh on my hair, so that might do well. And, um, I just love how my hair has grown and gotten so healthy. I'm thankful for that. I really like this. Like, this might have to be a regular thing for me. It needs to be a regular thing for me. Adding all this moisture. And I'm really just pressing this into my hair. I wish I had more time to be a lot more detailed with it. But I can't. Because for the auntie time, I ain't late. That's one thing. If you know me personally, you know for sure. I ain't going to be late. I have to be careful that this aloe is not like snagging my hair. And all I'm doing is like scraping the top off so I can get some more out.
that's not one. All right. <laughs> I'm about to get in the shower, wash, conditioner out here, and I will see y'all at the hair salon. You ain't paying attention to nothing. <laughs> <laughs> ain't paying attention to nothing. I like these. I should have got them the first time. Okay. I thought I was gonna look like a boy. I, like, okay. I don't want to look like a boy, but I don't think they did. Okay. And that's what I'm ready. I want my hair to be down. Mm -hmm. I want some individual braids. Like, my hair feels soft. Don't they feel soft? <laughs> it do. I'm just not touching it for real. This feels soft. Air vera they for the wind. Yes. I'm gonna send you the recipe. It ain't no recipe. It's just the plant. <laughs> yeah, get, get my shit together. And you the braider. Right. I'm supposed to be teaching y'all. <laughs> <laughs> you teach us how to braid. Are you gonna do braiding classes? I've been thinking about it. Mm. I would. I gotta get my shit together. Don't we all? Don't we all? Don't we all? Another Walmart shirt. I told you, I love Walmart shirts. <laughs> they super comfortable. And convenient. And cheap. Hell. The leggings too. <laughs> I got the leggings yeah, from Walmart. Outfit for $15 at Walmart. Or less. Because <laughs> they Come really on, be <laughs> for real. <laughs> Some run around clothes or like I said, I wear these to the plant all the time. Okay. It'd be perfect. Perfect. Long pose. Good. Good. There you go. Good. Just cross that over there, you go. Just feel like this, you just cross that pull over like this. That's just cool. Don't fall. Good. One more. Three, two, one. Very nice. Very pretty. Hey, Buttes. So today is Thursday the 25th. Oh, hey, new braids. How y'all doing? You know, you know, divine braids on the scalp per usual. But I went to the doctor today, you know, clean coochies matter, clean coochies only. Hmm. And I found that I was fat as hell. <laughs> Not for real, but like, and I don't mean to like offend nobody when I say that, but I am literally 28 pounds bigger than I was at the beginning of the summer. COVID, what you doing? So that might be a little like stress weight, switching over to third shift and eating at night. It's a lot going on. Um, I was wondering why I look so big in my videos. We know why, because you're actually big, sis, but we're going to fix that. So today I went and bought a couple of healthier items, food items that I want to show you. Brown sugar and spice. I've been eating this for some time now. I absolutely love this. Probably will eat this in like two days. Like literally, I love this salmon. I get this from Kroger. I got some more salmon, um, honey and chipotle. I think you could pan fry this one. I think. Girl, how you cook this? Hold on. We can figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. But I think you can pan fry this one or put it in the oven. Either way, I've had this before. I think I pan fried it. I don't remember, but it was really good. This one is really good too. I'm like a salt and chip fanatic. So when anything has a little crunch on it, I love that. Like I'm going to eat this one tonight because this one is still kind of frozen. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to eat it with too. So I got that. Um, I got these to snack on. I had a bigger bag, but I'm running out. I'm going to try to stick to popcorn and um, salsa and chips from now on instead of eating a bunch of different kind of chips because these are actually low, less calories than like the butter popcorn, which I thought was kind of strange 
And then it's hot popcorn too. And you know anything hot kind of speeds up your metabolism. So I got those. Um, I got, like I told you, I got some saucer. I like the medium, really chunky kind. Yes, I popped off my nails. It's a backstory to why I didn't want to keep them no more. We just gonna keep that moving along. And then I got, this is what I'm eating with the salmon, a Caesar salad. I love salmon Caesar salads. I love them. So I got me a salad to go with that. I live, I I'm gonna eat this whole bag. Just, I'm gonna eat the whole bag. And then I got some dark chocolate covered almonds. The almonds are good for your hair and your skin and the dark chocolate is, you know, healthier for you, but it still got a little sweetness to it if you want to like curb your appetite. So I got that, boom. Cause we are, you already know where I'm going with this. We got some grapes, got some apples. I love, these are, I think gala apples. Yeah, these are gala apples. I like gala apples, I like Fuji apples, I like Honeycrisp apples, that's it. Um, I didn't get a bunch of stuff because my sons are coming home in a couple days so I just got stuff for me to eat for the next few days I got some strawberries and I got a banana because my leg has been trying to charlie horse up for the last couple days if you didn't know um charlie horses are caused by a lack of potassium and bananas have a lot of potassium in them so if you catch charlie horses often or you feel like your leg is trying to cramp a charlie horse up eat you a banana um these I get from 7-Eleven and I absolutely love them. They're cold pressed juices. They are, hopefully you can see it, you can see it on there. They're 100% fruit and vegetable blends. They are non-GMO non -GMO verified. They're USDA organic. I don't know what that little U means. If anybody else know what it means, you could please tell me. But I got four of these because when I say I am obsessed, I'm obsessed. Okay. It has, let me see, it's specific to, where it go? Usually it's on here. Mm -mm. Did they take it off? Hold on. Because my last bottle I had had it on here. That's odd. But it has tart cherry, purple carrot, blackberry, pomegranate, bilberry, cranberry, and acai. I'm trying to figure out why last time I got these, it tells you how many of each thing is in the bottle, but maybe somebody was trying to steal their sauce because it's gone. Mm. That's weird, but it has a bunch of good stuff in it regardless. And I love these, like, love these. Like I said, they're natural organic pressed juices. Um, that was the only thing I got. <laughs> like I said, my sons are coming home, so I'm going to go big grocery shopping um, in a couple more days. But I just got me a couple things to eat on and snack on because y'all... I don't like that. Like, and it's weird because I'm okay with this size. It was just a little bit of gut that I knew I had to get rid of. So I'm trying to figure out where these 28 and extra half pounds went to. Like my head, did they go to my ass and my thighs? Because my stomach is really not that big. And that's the one thing that I just want to tighten and tone up a little bit is my stomach. So did they go to my titties? Like, because I was, I ain't gonna lie, my last vlog, my titties was big. Or like earlier in this vlog, my titties was big when I was doing my aloe vera mask. And my titties not that big. So I was a little concerned, like, I gained how much? Like, I thought I might have gained maybe at the most 15 to 20 pounds. But 28 and a half, that's almost 30. It got to go. It got to go. But um, I am about to end this vlog, y'all, and get it edited for y'all so I can have it up on Sunday. I am going to show y'all my dinner for the night before I top this off, though. So I'll be back in a minute. Hey, dudes. So this is the end of the vlog for the week. Thank y'all so much for watching. I just wanted to show y'all dinner for the night. Um, Caesar salad and some crusted salmon, a banana, and my cold press juice. But, yeah. I usually try to, um, what's the word called? Intermittent, intermittent, intermittent fast. I can't say the word. But I try to do fasting when I'm really, like, on a diet. Um, I don't eat before 12 p.m. and I don't eat after 8 p.m. and if I do I'll just like drink some water or have some fruit but that's why I ate the banana and I'm drinking my cold pressure juice because I'm really trying to fill myself up it's currently 8 22 so I'm trying to hurry up and fill myself up so I don't eat anything else for the night I will be um keeping track 
and vlogging the diet process with y'all. If y'all know me personally, y'all know I do not play when it comes to dieting. Like, I get this weight up off me. And I want y'all to see that because a lot of people have always asked me, you know, how I lost all my baby weight or how I lost weight when I initially gained um, weight from my thyroid acting up. So, yeah. Um, thank y'all again, like I said, for watching the vlog. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.